<laughs> okay, what's this? I was trying to close the chat, but I need a boat to use this. All right, <laughs> welcome back to Larand Gaming. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Larand, and today we are going to take a look at this 3x3 sliding tile puzzle. Yes, it's a puzzle that causes much confusion to some players. And just a few years back, I was one of those that just pressed these tiles randomly just to hope for the best. <laughs> but uh, that's not the case anymore. And I will show you how I solve this puzzle today. So, how can we do this to avoid confusion? First of all, let's focus on the puzzle. <laughs> so, we have nine positions. And I will number them like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Meaning that number one is this corner piece. Because uh, you need to compare it, of course, to the original solution. And up here in the corner, the top left corner, we have a piece of this hat. And that's also how I start this puzzle. I need that first corner piece. And then right next to this corner piece, we need the opposite side of the corner. So we need the end of the hat or the other side of the hat, meaning that you will need this piece. So we have one, two, three. So number three is the one. Still need a boat. <laughs> so this piece needs to be up here. So we're going to move all the pieces around here until we get a free space and we slide this one up here. And the reason why we do this is because we need this piece to go out to the right into the corner uh, and also make sure that we can slide up the middle piece. And that is piece number two, the middle section of the hat. And that's this part that we see up here. So I'm going to go back to the puzzle. So if we locate this piece directly underneath, move this number three out of the way up in a corner we can slide up number two that means that we have fulfilled the first row of this puzzle and now we don't need to move these pieces anymore and that's very very good <laughs> coming up next we need to do this lower left corner and seeing on the original picture we have this area and that means that go back to the puzzle this piece needs to be just like we did in the beginning where we had piece number three being next to piece number one we need this piece to now to be next to number one so we move this piece directly underneath number one and this is piece number seven so you have one two three four five six and seven and that's the lower left corner and just like we did with the hat, we need the middle part, the middle segment in between these two corners. And if we compare to the original puzzle, we have this part. And that's part number four. One, two, three, four. So we're going to put that just like we did with the hat in the middle. So we get ready to slide it in when we move down this corner piece. So we need this piece, which is piece number four, to be in the middle. And I mean, if this was scrambled like this, it doesn't really matter. So we can just move this up in this center position. The only difficult part is that if you would have this piece down here, because then you would need to separate these two. I can show you an example later, but let's not try to make it too complicated in the first run okay <laughs> so if you have you have one two three those are all correct you have number seven right next to number one and you have prepared piece number four in the middle meaning that when you put down or when you slide down piece number seven now you can easily slide in piece number four and that's the solution because these three pieces it doesn't matter in what order they come you just need to rotate it either clockwise or the other way the counterclockwise it doesn't matter if they have switched places or anything because they will always be correct just slide them around and you will have solved the puzzle as you can see here 
this one is gonna be solved but I'm not gonna solve it because then I <laughs> then I need to do another 20 rare fish to enable the quest so I'm just gonna scramble this puzzle again to just make something new out of it I'm gonna see if we can make a good scramble or if I'm bad at it I don't know <laughs> let's find out I think this will do at least I'm confused <laughs> I don't know exactly what uh, what tiles I was moving so this is like a brand new puzzle to me and then we start to think those numbers again so we have piece number one down here this time we need to move it up so we do it like that and I mean moving a piece is very simple you just need the free space and you can slide it around like this so I don't really think that that needs more explanation than that so we have one three which is the critical start we move up piece number two to get ready to slide it in between one and three like this so now we have again top row fixed you need the lower left corner to be right next to piece number one meaning that piece seven which is here right now which is perfect is the perfect position just like piece number three next to number one you need piece number seven being next to number one and then we slide in piece number four so it gets ready to go in position when you bring it down as you can see we're starting to get something here again and it doesn't matter if you do it clockwise or counterclockwise the pieces will just fall in in the correct order again so that was attempt number two. Let's do it one more time. Let's scramble everything. <laughs> That's a poor scramble. <laughs> it's almost it's almost like a, f a complete face. We need to do some more. Ah, this looks better. Okay, time to start to think those numbers again. Piece number one is all of a sudden down here. So we're going to move this one up. So we get it up here in the corner. This piece is already in place, but we, we gonna, we're not going to have it like this because it will not help us right now. We want it to look like this with piece number one, piece number three. We need piece number two to be in the center. So we move that one in position. Then we can separate those. So you go out in the corners again and you can slide up piece number two. And then we need this corner piece piece number seven to be next to number one and here is number seven so we're gonna move that in position and then we need piece number four to be in the center and here's piece number four and as you can see they are all ready now we can slide everything into position again and we have solved the puzzle <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> isn't it Time to do another scramble. I think we can maybe settle with four, <laughs> four attempts. Okay, so here we have it again. <laughs> this time it looks like this. Uh, piece number one is down in this corner this time. So we're going to move that piece all the way up to the corner like that. And then we need this one being right next to it. Piece number three. So we move everything around. So now we have piece number one, piece number three, again in position. Moving up with piece number two in the center, getting ready to slide it in between one and number three. Like this. Now that's all set. We have this corner piece, the part of the nose, going direct. This piece number seven going directly underneath piece number one. And we need piece number four, which is down here, to be in the center. We slide everything into place again. And there you go. I want to show you though one exemption here that could occur if you have, let's see if we can <laughs> manage to get uh, a condition that looks a little bit different. I was hoping that we could get it during my example, but uh, we didn't. So we'll just force it to be like that. If we have this situation. <laughs> so you have piece number 7. Directly underneath piece number 1. But 
this piece, piece number four, that's gonna go in between here. You can't take this one out without actually moving piece number seven. Uh, so then you're gonna end up in a situation where you're just gonna chase this one around in a circle and then you end up like this again. Uh, then you need to scramble these two so they get separated. Uh, <laughs> and I would say best way of doing that is to put in another piece between like I did now. Right now they are next to each other but we need to have an additional piece between here so by moving up we have a space now in between them we slide in something else it doesn't matter what piece it is we just need to separate them that's all and once we have done that you see the condition has now changed and then you can move in this piece into center piece number four and when you have done that slide down number seven in the corner you move out with the piece number four in between piece one and seven like this and then you do the clockwise or counterclockwise rotation and you have yes solved the puzzle <laughs> isn't that just brilliant so yeah i hope you have learned something well if you haven't and you already knew this well congratulations <laughs> you're awesome <laughs> <laughs> so, in any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, I hope you do, well maybe not, please put them down below. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Frontier and other Roblox games. <laughs> please subscribe and yes, have a nice day. I'm gonna press this crystal now, continue this quest. I'm gonna go to the special fishing area. <laughs> Bye everyone.